Hi guys and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. If you clicked on this video here, there's something in it that is meant for you, that's intended for you, your ears, your heart here. Um, it is going to be a general reading, but I feel like the, the things and the people that we're attracted to is not by random, it's not by coincidence, um, it's because there's something it calls to our soul or there's just something in it for us. So um, hopefully these messages will be helpful to at least some of you, if not all of you, in some way, shape or form. Perhaps some of you just need to be reminded of something. Perhaps uh, some of you just need your feelings validated or confirmed. For whatever reason, there is something here that's led you and it's guided you to the specific reading. It is going to be a general one, so just guys, please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading with myself, Please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and just see what the cards want you to know here, okay? <clears throat> okay, so there's a strong indication of Pain, abandonment, rejection, walking away. Wow, okay, that's too many cards. The chariot's kind of come out in reverse, hasn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four, he has come twice. Oh, sorry about that background noise. Um, okay. Now, there's a strong energy of something, someone having pulled away or walked away, someone having disconnected, whether it's a physical disconnection or an emotional disconnection. I can definitely see there's something here, whether time or space, that sort of wedged a distance between you and a romantic energy here. Now, I'm not sure if you're the one who's pulling away or you're the one who's trying your hardest to pull away or if this is your romantic energy who is slowly pulling away, okay, whether they've pulled away physically, um, whether they're at a geographical distance from you or whether you can feel them pull away from you emotionally, okay, they're not the same person that you fell in love with, they're not the same person that you began the relationship or the connection out with. Um, so you can definitely sense like someone here is distancing themselves away from you. There's definitely a pain or a hurt here that I feel like is very present in someone's energy. But I'm going to say it's both your energies, okay? So whoever this person is that's walking away, to me it feels like they're trying to convince themselves that walking away from you or walking away from this connection is the logical thing to do, okay? Now, guys, you'll have to resonate, uh, you'll have to take it as it resonates with you. If you're the one that's doing the walking away, the distancing yourself, then try and interpret it, you know, as that. If this is your romantic energy, you know, then take it as that. So you're going to have to put your own spin on it, I guess. But I do see that there is, as I've mentioned, you know, there's there's this emotional tug of war that's going on with a certain energy, okay? And the logical side, the head says it's it makes sense to walk away, okay? Um, walking away may be hard, but staying is going to be so much harder. But their heart says they're still in it, even though they may have made the decision, even if they've just ghosted you or really ended things abruptly. Guys, even if it was just the early stages of a connection or if you've been in a long-term relationship or long-term connection with this person. Regardless, I definitely feel like there's um, a sense of rejection. There's a sense of walking away. There's a sense of moving away here, disconnecting themselves. But I feel like their decision isn't in alignment with what it is that they want. It's almost like they're trying to fight themselves and they're trying to fight their feelings here. Your person here is hurt. The Nine of Swords here is a very destructive kind of energy. It is a weapon at the end of the day, okay? And it's true. Psychology says that people who are hurting, those who are hurt themselves, they tend to go, they tend to go around and hurt other people. Not necessarily deliberately or intentionally. A lot of them actually do it on a subconscious level, not even being aware of it. But oftentimes they tend to think of themselves as victims, okay? And... Um, 
Therefore, they tend to mistreat or hurt others, especially those that are closest to them. Okay, those those that they have formed close um, bonds and close connections with, those that they feel most safest and secure, um, se most secure, most secure with here. It's it it comes from a place. It is fueled from a place of brokenness, of hurt, of pain here. So their reactions stem from past experiences. And it's almost like the hurt that they're feeling, the hurt that's inside, they feel like they have to project it onto other people. And unfortunately, those other people happen to be those that are closest to them. Case in point, you, right? Um, there are certain beliefs that I feel like they accept as the truth. That, for instance, hurt, okay, abandonment, rejection, fear, all of that is a necessary part of life. And, and it doesn't have to be. But these people have grown up these people have grown up in an environment that may have been really painful, abusive or unhealthy or they have been engaged in relationships that were that way inclined and therefore that pain that resides within them and their energy here that sort of dictates their actions. This is why this person, you know, rejects you or walks away because deep down inside they fear that you might do it first. So this is them sort of like getting a head start. So it's like their way of protecting themselves, if that makes sense. Um, it's not about you. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's very important that whatever it is that you're going through, um, do not personalize this pain because it's not about you. If you've been rejected, if there's been no communication from this individual, or if you've been in a relationship which you love this person and deep down inside, you know that they love you, but their actions don't necessarily support that. Okay. And you feel like the two of you have just been stagnated. Um, it's, it's not about you. It's not even about your relationship. Mm -hmm. I know it's about them and it's about what's inside of them is coming out and Essentially, they're projecting what's inside of them outwards. And you're the one, you know, you're in firing range, really. So it's important that you don't personalize this pain because it's not about you. It's about them here, okay? Um, some of you I know are hurt because it's like you felt like this person would stay longer and they would fight, you know, they would actually... They wouldn't walk away so easily or they would stay longer and fight for the relationship here, fight for the connection here. And some of you feel like you've never, because they've ghosted you or ended things really abruptly, you feel as though you've never had an opportunity to ask why is it that they walked away. So some of you, I can see that you don't have closure here. And um, not having closure can make it extremely hard, extremely difficult to move on. The best way to close a chapter on anything for that matter, relationships, um, you know, whether they're romantic, professional or otherwise, the best way to close a chapter, the best way to close a situation is by not attaching yourself to what could have been, okay? The Page of Cups, a very novelist kind of energy. It's not attaching yourself and not leaning towards the illusions that could have been, okay, guys? Because that's what keeps you stuck. That, that's what keeps you unable to move on. And I feel like this is what's kept your person unable to move on as well. Because it's that illusion, that, you know, that fantasy narrative that someone here is telling themselves, you know, this, it could have been great. It could have been, you know, the two of you happily ever after. It could have been this storybook romance. It could have been um, an opportunity. If it could have been, it would have been. Okay, so for those of you who may probably have, you know, come here to seek some sort of closure or at least sort of seek some sort of peace about the situation, let me tell you that what's really going to help you is if you detach yourself from the possible narrative, you know, the illusion of what could have been. That's definitely going to help you with the whole closure notion. Okay, so... Your person, the reason why your person hurts you time and time again, or if it is you, in a way, it's, to me, it's recognized as a sense of manipulation, okay, because this person is hurting, and therefore they, and some of them are not even aware, okay, and is it worse that they're not aware? Probably, because this person is hurting, and they're projecting the hurt onto other people here.
there is also something there's something that I get here. I do want to mention that I feel this person will come back into your life, okay? They will come back into your life. But I just want to give you a bit of a warning. If they come back in the same energy field in which they walked away, then I don't see um, a positive transformation for this connection. However, if they, can, if they come back and they have a changed perspective, an altered perspective, they have an awareness or an openness to work on themselves and work on this connection, then yes, there just may be light at the end of the tunnel. Then there may be an improvement, an opportunity for the two of you to work on things. But they cannot be closed off to the idea of them having to do some inner work because this is what needs to happen. The other thing is, whenever this person, because some of you... I know that you've been experiencing situations where this person points the finger of blame at you, right? And it's almost like they make it out to seem to be like it's your fault or you're the one that's fueling the arguments and, you know, the pain, the hurt. The reason why your person does this is because they often see parts of themselves, fragments of themselves in you, okay? And that's things that they don't like about themselves, once again, it's their way of projecting how they feel about themselves here outwards, okay? So I feel like for a lot of you, it will be, I feel like it will put a lot of things into perspective when you understand that it's not about you, it's not about the connection, it's about them and the inner work that they have to um, deal with, okay? And I feel like it will just, it might not make things all that much easier, but at least a little bit easier. And for some of you, it may not make walking away so easy to do but at least just that little bit easier and these are your messages guys thank you as always for watching and listening thanks for supporting the channel i do have other tarot love messages that i share with you almost on a daily basis so feel free to ch um, check out those messages for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to connect with me Other otherwise guys i do wish you all the very best